In hotels operationally, we very much focus on standard operating procedures. You know, there's, there's a procedure of how we check in a guest, there's a, a procedure of how we turn down a room, how we deliver room service, how we enter a room, how we post a folio, etc. But one of the things that uh, is important to also explore is also procedures for revenue management optimization within your property, whether you're working in a manual or an automated environment. So one of the things I'd perhaps recommend is when you're doing your planning, uh, when you're looking at your human resources strategy, when you're looking at your um, corporate planning procedures uh, each year is ask yourself the question, well, what am I going to do around revenue management? Um, what are the procedures in place that we're going to put? What are the benchmarks? How are we going to measure what we do in the RM space? And of course, revenue management is not just rooms. Revenue management encapsulates uh, other ancillary fields, uh, whether it's your food and beverage, your spa, your car parking, your golf, uh, all of those different streams, um, your function space for, for meetings and events, how you're going to measure those, um, and obviously how that will journey across the entire transaction of pricing and selling within your organisation as well. So start to think about, well, how we how we, not just our free sell guidelines, but how are they amended? How often are they amended? How flexible are they? How often should we perhaps revisit those as our market changes? Because our market is changing more and more quickly. It, last year is, is not the same as this year, and it is certainly not going to be the same as next year either. Um, new competitors come into the market, new distribution comes into the, to the market, new market compression, new airlines have an impact on to the uplift into your destination. All of those things change how your hotel operates and therefore how you sell, position, price and manage every element of your business, not, ju not just rooms, should also be revisited frequently. Um, and, and reassess whether that's the right approach today. Um, you can set much more flexible standard operating procedures that you may have a standard SOP for, for how you look at business on a Wednesday versus a Friday versus a Saturday or a Sunday. And that may again change in winter versus summer. So SOPs need to be um, incorporate RM, they need to ripple the effect of RM across the entire process uh, that's touched by revenue management and they also need to be taken down off the shelf uh, and revisited much more frequently as our business changes at a higher velocity than ever.